today is a major development in uh, the Biden administration's efforts to try to inoculate at least 100 million residents in its first 100 days in office. The so-called Pharmacy Direct program is now launched as of this week. We're no longer going to be relying on these mass vaccination sites uh, that are still operating in several states, but also major pharmaceutical chains like CVS and Walgreens will also be receiving uh, doses of this vaccine directly from the federal government in that they will be eliminating a lot of the middlemen. They'll be using the pre-existing infrastructure of these uh, giant companies. And also the idea is to now have this vaccine vaccine available in more locations, including rural areas. But some challenges still remain. We understand uh, that the numbers are still not there in terms of doses. Uh, first of all, they've only made it available in select counties and select branches. Uh, not every store has them just yet. And accessing the website, the appointment system is still an issue. We tried it ourselves for several hours and the website keeps crashing because of high demand. And we do understand that uh, the federal administration has already warned that this is now starting as, um, as, as a trial only in 6,500 stores across the nation. And it will, this number will only go up in the next coming weeks and uh, months. It is considered a, a promising move to make this vaccine uh, available to more people and more quickly but still several supply chain issues remain in place. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.